What's happening guys? I'm Dan, welcome back to the channel. We're diving into more Drecker beer from Fargo, North Dakota. Here we are, uh, second go at this. I had one beer so far from them in my arsenal. This will be number two, so let's go for it. It's the Metaphase DDH Double IPA, clocking in at 8.2% ABV, no slouch, crazy can art, the Drecker Special. Insane can art with the zombie, dark themed, big, popping, robust colors that's going on in all their can art. Uh, so what we have today is, again, double IPA with pale two-row oats, Carafoam, spelt, hops are citra and Nelson Sauvin, and the housed IPA yeast, the typical that I had in the first beer. So moving on, we have a can on date on 012324, so slightly older than the other beer I had from Drecker so far, and today's March 13th time recording, so not super fresh. I wish it was a little bit more fresh, coming in as this is a big New England style dipper, if you will. Um, but not gonna hold it against them. It is what it is. This beer's pretty expensive. I think it's like 20 bucks for a four pack. So on the upper end of the spectrum, but it is distributed by M4. If you guys are interested in Northern Michigan or any part of Michigan, that's how you will find them. If you go to your liquor store, you'll say, talk to M4 distribution, I want Drecker beer. So is it gonna be worth the price point? We'll investigate today, guys. That's really why we check these out because we have access to such good beer in Northern Michigan and Michigan slash Midwest in general. Uh, so as I pour this, super nice looking, super creamy and milky as I poured it. Um, slightly more hazy than the last one I had that was 7.2%. Um, it's slightly more dark orange. It's a little bit more hazy. Um, Boss tweed looking in the glass, a little bit more towards that end of the spectrum. Looks pretty thick. Um, let's go to an aroma. I don't need to talk any more about the preludes here. Ooh. Ooh, man. So, candied navel orange, a lot of that. Uh, there is this big sugary note that reminds me of cotton candy. White grapes, just rich, sweet. And I even, have you guys ever had cotton candy grapes? That's what this smells like. And that's how I feel like the taste would follow suit. If you guys don't know about cotton candy grapes, look them up, they're very sweet and they taste like sugar. That's exactly what this smells like with a little bit of like a winey essence to it, a little bit of wine body. Um, Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling, sweetness, the acidity, all that good stuff that we get in a lot of Nelson Sauvin that's really coming through. But it balances really well with the citra. Like it's rich, it's kind of tropical, it's very stone fruity. I get a lot of like candied cantaloupe as well. And again, this big like kiwi note that comes through that I, that I got on the first one too. So um, brace for the G's, that's what the beer was. Um, let's investigate guys, Metaphase DDH, double IPA cheers. Big beer but real milky, real solid, um, not too bitter, and honestly not too alcoholic either. This is pretty cold though. I feel like this wouldn't be so awesome if it warmed up, uh, but ice cold, it's really good. It's really sweet, but there is a fair bit of piney bitterness on the back end, this earthy piney bitterness that tries to balance the sweetness out. It does it in a very nice fashion. Um, I thought maybe the other beer lacked a little bit of balance slightly, but this one is pulling it, it's teeter-tottering. Uh, your palate back to balance, and I like it on the back end. Certainly chewy. Big notes of like a little bit of grapefruit, very small amounts of grapefruit. Um, oily lemon, I get big bites of just candied navel orange. And again, this kiwi candied cantaloupe, a um, little bit of apricot, um, and then maybe just a small bit of tropical fruit medley going on. It's not very much, but again, this little grape quality coming through, it's, it's slightly whiny, but it's more just cotton candy grapes. It's like sinking your teeth into a little bit of sugar, but it tastes like fruit. It tastes like it should be healthy, but it's just got this big sweetness to it. It's just candied and firm on the palate. Really good, really tasty. Um, and again, I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised by the balance on the back end because this is a sweeter, a little bit heavier, white, doughy, bready, uh, um, uh, New England style. So it, it's not that it's so malty, but it, you can feel the richness of the malt. Uh, it kind of weighs on your palate a little bit with a lot of sweetness. So. 
to sum it all up, it ends up being decently dry on the back end. This is up in the conversation with, it's a very, very good dip up. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of um, the, the M43s, the Boss Tweeds, the, um, the Arvons. It, it gives me those kind of feels just with a little bit heavier body, right? So that's why I said M43 and, and Boss Tweed first. Um, but the balance outstanding. Uh, the dryness outstanding on the back end, and this is still kind of a piney little kick of an IPA on the back end. Uh, really digging it. It's it's something I've I've had before. Like if I'm being completely honest, this is a five out of five in 2016, maybe even 2018. But by today's standards, this can be duplicated. But this is a fantastic product from a fantastic brewery uh, who is getting it into distribution. So it's really good stuff. But you're gonna pay for it. You are gonna pay for it. And in Michigan, I can get my hands on something similar for maybe a dash cheaper. So um, it's great. It's a great beer. No complaints, really. Have I had it before? Yes, something very similar. So where do I put this? Four, two, five out of five. It's really good. Uh, I could go higher. Again, maybe by years ago standards, it'd be much higher. But where I stand today, guys, from Drecker. Four, two, five out of five. Thank you so much for being here. It's been another Drecker beer. I got a couple more in the arsenal. Get ready for those. Over and out. Pros, cheers, yamas. Another cerveza in the books.